All right, everyone. Tyler from Burns Bros here. Today we're going to show you how to change the oil on the 2003 Eclipse GS. First things you want to do: take off your oil cap. Not 100% needed, but this is what I do at work. You only do this just to remember that you haven't filled it with oil yet. Then you're going to want to take your jack and jack it up on the passenger side. The frame should be about right here. Let's go underneath. Right here, on this, we call it a pinch weld at work. That's where you need to lift. Now as for the oil and the filter goes, you're gonna need four and a half quarts of some type of 530, 540, 1030, 1040. I'm using Rotella diesel oil because that's what I had laying in the garage. I got this car for free and I don't really care. You also need a PZ37 filter and a 17 millimeter. Now I'm just guessing that it's a 17 millimeter because most Japanese four cylinders and even some Korean ones have a 17 millimeter drain bolt. You're definitely going to want to use jack stands. Mine are missing the insert. I forgot what the hell it's called. But these jack stands are older than me. So, I'm just going to rest them on that. And hope for the best. Don't try this at home, kids. Alright. Lower it onto it. When you're jacking the car, when you're jacking the car, same thing applies to the other side. Jack it up, put it here, on what we call the pinch weld. Alright, now that you've got the cap off and your drain pan's under here, you're jacked up nice and safely. Sort of. <laughs> you can go ahead and remove your oil bolt. And I was correct, it is a 17 mil. And just give it a good crank. I've already loosened mine. Here's my final force. Line up the drain pan. Mm. Yeah, it's not that bad for old oil. It doesn't smell very good. It smells like conventional mixed with synthetic. Because I did add some oil to it before I started it the first time in six months. Oh, look, we're leaking a little bit. Yeah, don't do what I do. Make sure you're going downhill. Alright, we're no longer leaking. Let this drain out for a little while, especially if it's been sitting. If it's been sitting, you want as much of this crap out as possible. So I'm going to let this sit for a good 10 or 20 minutes. Now that it's been reduced to a trickle, you can go ahead and get your oil filter out. That's right here. Most of the time, it's on there hand tight. If not, the person before you was a dumbass. Let's see if I can get it off. So you need either a band wrench, a claw tool, or a screwdriver. I'm probably going to do a screwdriver because I don't feel like looking for my band wrench. Alright, now that I'm back, i got a big old screwdriver, it doesn't need to be a big one. And my heckin' chonker of a hammer, a 24 ounce e-swing. Go ahead and find a spot. You don't want to hit the little thing that comes out of the engine, I forgot the name of it. It's what the oil filter threads onto. Give it a whack. Ow. Can't really get a good swing in this thing because I'm in such an awkward position. I hate working on the ground, by the way. Because I use a 
freaking drive on lift at work. That didn't feel good. Okay, you can see I'm starting to penetrate. That's what she said. Usually you don't need to go all the way through and through, but on some real tough ones you definitely will need to. Alright, that started it. I just hope I don't have to do another hole. But that got it to move. Yep, need to do a second hole. Alright, we're on round two of man versus oil filter. Oh, so you have to go deeper because it started to rip. That actually did it. Okay, that did it. Let your filter drain out. Surprised it didn't drain out fully all the way already. you some oil lubricate the gasket on your new filter it doesn't need to be clean oil it just needs to be lubricated so it doesn't stick to the block now this filter I'm using is a Wix 57 356 these are great filters for the money putting it in my high performance low performance car the mighty 2.4 Eclipse GS. Make sure your gasket surface is clean. I don't see anything on there that's going to cause a bad seal. So it takes the same filter as most Hondas, Kias. Not Toyotas. Toyotas are PZ38s, not 37s. Okay. place the washer if you can get it off you might need to use a screwdriver or some cutting pliers to get it up and put the new washer on okay that's what I'm gonna go do well now that we got our new Wix filter on there and our oil drain hole is now reduced to a trickle again for some reason it picked up again I don't know why can put our plug in now, if this is the fiber type gasket, I think you're supposed to get some oil on it. I don't even know what the hell this one's made of. It's like metal and fiber. Go ahead and put your plug in. Do not over tighten these. Can't tell you how many times I get underneath a car at work and the bolt is over tightened and we take it out and the freaking threads on the inside of it are destroyed. Seriously, all you gotta do Start to tighten it. Oh, you feel a pull. It's starting to bite. Give it a turn. Now that we got our plug and our filter in, we can put the oil in. Oil cap is still off. Now I have a beer. Take you a funnel. If you're going to make one like this, spray it out with brake clean. Put in four and a half quarts. I already dumped in half a quart before I took this, so I'm only dumping in four. Just so I can do this all in one go. Alright. Put on the cap. 
Get on there, bitch. What are you... All right. Now start it up. Run it for about 30 seconds. Watch for leaks. And then check your oil. Make sure it's full. And then you're done. If you need me to do all that for the video, you should probably take all your tools and walk away from the car and bring it somewhere to get the oil change done. But yep, that's how you do an oil change on an 03 Eclipse GS. Hope y'all enjoyed it. My funny bone still fucking hurts. Y'all have a great day.